Chase Liaki here, Blue Futon. If you see the sun, the sun is literally in my face. Anyway, I just saw House with a Thousand Corpses in theaters. I think they're doing a two-night only thing with Phantom Events. Uh, have I seen this movie before? I don't think so. I think I've seen The Devil's Rejects in theaters back in Greenville, Texas at Majestic 12. And I was being like, damn, that's a effed up movie. This one is pretty effed up too. This is Rob Zombie's first movie. They're calling this the 20th anniversary edition. Even though even Rob Zombie at the beginning this is actually 23 years because it sat on the shelf for three years. Because Universal Studios, they made it and they realized, nah, we can't really release this. Then it finally went to Lionsgate. Can I blame Universal at that time in 2000? No, I can't really blame them because it's very experimental, very different. It's very scattery. It's edited very weird. Is it grotesque? Yes. Does it really have a plot though? That's for up to you to decide with the whole Dr. Satan, the family, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre themes, and does it all connect? That's really up to you to decide. Is it bonkers? Yes. Is it gore? Yes. Is it just weird? Absolutely. Does it work still? Experimentally? Yes. I'll dive a little bit deeper when I release the full review. But yes, House of a Thousand Corpses, seen it on the big screen, I, I like watching older movies on the big screen. It's just so much more fun. Anyway... Have you seen it? Did you like it? Chase Lock here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things, Bluton Toby, Bluton, they have a great day. Now I can watch this tape tomorrow, week, tomorrow, month, tomorrow, year, tomorrow. I love every single one of you. And it's one of the movies where it's like, yes, they have this. Three, is it Three Days in Hell? And then Devil's Rejects. Will it ever get a 4K release? It could because it actually looked pretty damn good on the big screen.